Good evening, everyone. Good. Hello. Hello. There we go. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and today's episode is going to be a little bit um, emotional for me. Our pet dog, Charlie, he passed away last night. Um, was it last night? Okay. From from the time of this recording, it was last night to me. It's going to be two days ago for you guys. But <clears throat> he was a good dog, and he was turning 12 this week. He literally was was 12 years old. Now, the average lifespan of a dog, if I remember right, is seven to, no, six to eight years, something like that. That's the average. So he lived a really long life, all right? He was a black lab chow, and he was uh, very active and fun to play with and hang out with, but... Um, it was very emotional. Oh gosh, I'm getting messages. Hang on. Okay. It was notification of uh, some things. Where was I? What was I talking about? Oh, Charlie. Um, actually, I was going to show off uh, a couple of vines that I had done back when a vine was still a thing. And uh, kind of just give you guys an idea of what kind of dog he was. Hold on a second. Let me pull those up. Okay. Okay. I I found them. Uh, hold on. There's hi. There they are. Hi guys. I'm showing some old vines of Charlie. I'm I'm gonna make him a little place on my base. By the way. Yeah. That that'd be a good idea. All right. Let's do this and this here. I think maybe. Properties. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, fade, 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 fade. So, hopefully, you guys can hear this. There we go. So, this is Charlie. I'll be so good for you. I'll be so good. I'll be so good for you. Please, let me have a stick. Please, let me. I'll be. That was whenever we were out. Um, barbecuing and he was he was like I just want a steak he was begging for it and begging 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 but I didn't have any extra steak so are you ready are you ready for this huh are you ready for this here it is it's empty no so good he's so good he's so good are you ready are you ready for this can I have a biscuit yeah. you don't need a biscuit please can I have a biscuit please you don't need a biscuit fine <laughs> can I have a bacon yeah. bacon sure sit down no I don't think we are okay. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> so anyhow, that's that's my dog Charlie. Charlie, wait, wait, wait a second, wait, wait, hold on. Charlie, okay, what, what? Charlie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, oh, and he's in the background. See of this one too. A patch of clovers. One, two, three, four. Just so we can. See. So, anyhow, <clears throat> I think. I think we need to go and create him. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. We we need to create him a little area, a little place for Charlie. Um, let's see here. Do I have any wires? I don't, I don't know if I have any wires. I think I used them all for the fan fan mail. No. Um. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> Hey, there's one. Can I do it with one? No, I better not try. Oh, there's two. All right. Uh oh. And three. All right. There we go. All right. Let's try and just spell Charlie. Let's see. I'll do it in uh, in code primate text. So, uh, by the way, this is not going to be a tutorial, and it's not going to be like a, a full gameplay. It's just, thank you, Twins, uh, Joa, Dropano, for the subscribe. It's just me hanging out, uh, talking about my dog. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. C-H. A? Charlie. C 
C-H, Charlie, Charlie. I think, I think I'm saying it right. Wally, no, Charlie. C-H-A. Uh, okay, that's, that's gonna be weird. Okay, let's go BB. We'll go here. Then we'll come across like that. And we'll go back. Can we go back? Please. There we go. C H A R L, right? Try. Okay, Google. How do you spell Charlie? So if, so if I come out just a little bit more, like this. That becomes the I, right? All right, let's do that. And then, have this one. Correctly. There we go. Oh, come on. Why is it not flat? Okay, I'm messing this up. Hold on. Hold on. Why is this? Oh, that's why. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Grammy, by the way. She sent me a message. Here. Let's let's go let's go right here. This will be a little bit better. A little bit more spread out. <sighs> Did the blank blank thicker? Ugh, fog. <laughs> Did the fog get thicker? I don't know. How thick is it? <laughs> it's th Sorry. Thick. Never mind. Bad joke code. Bad joke. <clears throat> serious episode this time. We're doing we're doing a serious serious episode. The eye is going to be a little messed up, but that's fine. Can we do an E? I don't know that I can do a, a fancy E or not. Uh-oh, come on. There we go. Charlie. Aw. We can make him, make him a little, little dog house. Should put a little rest in peace thingy. Come on, let's do let's do right here. This way I can kind of come off to the side. And... There we go. Get him a little doghouse going. Come on, come on. Okay, hold on. Let's let's shorten that down as much as possible. Sides. There we go. Oh, now, now he'll live on on base number four. Charlie. Mm -hmm. So, oh, do, do, do. you guys want to come take a picture? Do, 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 do. so sad so 
one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to you guys about emotional states of people whenever they have the loss of a, a loved one or a family member. It's dealing with death itself. So, um, my son and I, we kind of have a lack of knowing what to do with the emotion. Um, I cry and it, it usually comes in waves and, and usually all of a sudden because it's not handled appropriately at the time of it happening. So I want you to know that there's no, there's no correct way to grieve. Okay. And I also want you to know if you have a pet right now, go give it a hug, give it, give it some love from Charlie, from me, from, from our family and just let your pet know, like it is loved. Um, something that you consider whenever you purchase a pet, whenever you get a pet is it's going to die. Like, unless you get a really old tortoise of some kind that can live up to 280 years or something, whatever the case may be, most animals, most pets will die within your lifetime. And this is for kids, this is for parents, this is for new parents who are thinking about getting pets, stuff like that. Look at the lifespan of the animal that you're purchasing and look at, like, the concept of what's going to happen when that animal dies. Is it going to be devastating? Is it going to be an emotional state? Um, one of the reasons that you do this, one of the reasons that you get an animal is to prepare yourself for when someone dies, for when someone that you love dies. And it's, it's hard. It's an, it is an emotional effect on a lot of people, not just yourself. Um, my wife, my wife didn't cry because she, she's allergic to the dog. So she couldn't get near the dog quite as often, but I mean, still loved, loved Charlie. Um, my daughter was devastated and she actually just recently had started, um, spending more time with him going outside because she has schoolwork and stuff. I, I could totally be cleaning while this is happening here. Let's go ahead and whitelist you two. Oh, by the way, these guys are um, in my uh, my server. They are admins, so don't freak out. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, don't do it! Don't whitelist anyone." They're fine. Um, preparing for the emotional state of what happens when someone dies, and. It really freaked me out whenever I first saw, or when I first found Charlie. So yesterday night, um, I went outside to go feed Charlie. And normally I, I feed him after I come in from recordings and stuff like that at nighttime. And I looked in his bowl and it had been raining all day. So I looked in his bowl and his food was still there. I'm like, oh, that's kind of strange, but there's some times that he just doesn't eat or he doesn't feel good. And he, 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 like, he might have a tummy ache. It happens. So what happens next is usually the birds in the morning are the ones who, um, who eat his food. Well, it just didn't feel right. So I called out for him. I said, Charlie! Charlie! All right. Normally he's either hanging out under the shed or he's beside the house. And normally once I I call for him, he starts to move. Like he will come to me. And I said that I listened. And there was no sound. Like Charlie? So finally I grabbed my phone, I turned on the uh, the light to it, and I started going to the back shed. And along the way, the swing sets are there. And he was laying underneath both of the swings where the kids swing. He wasn't moving. So I'm like, Charlie? So I, I went up on him and his fur was all wet because it had been raining. So I was, I was worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's going to be cold. And I bent down and he wasn't breathing. And I just thought, he's gone. He's like... It's, it's been 12 years, and now he's passed. So, it was very emotional. 
just emotion all over the place. But again, I didn't know how to handle it, so I said, oh, Charlie, bent down. I patted him on the head a few times. I checked, and he was just cold. So he was so cold. So I went back inside, and uh, I woke up my wife, who had not been asleep very long, told her what had happened. She goes, oh, no. So I got him, and... Uh, I, I got a, a bed sheet, and I wrapped him up in the bed sheet, brought him into the, uh, brought him up onto the deck so he wasn't just laying out in the yard. It didn't feel right. And then the next day, we told the kid. Well, today, we told the kiddos, and I set him down, and Ollie, Ollie had already found out because Oliver had seen him the day before, like he had seen him that day and said that he had gone and laid down underneath the swings. So. <sighs> Anyhow, today I, I called up uh, Dig Wright to see if there was any problem with us burying our animal in the backyard and just to see if we needed to do anything special. And I said, no, if you have everything marked out and you know where everything's at, then, um, you're only going down two feet. So. If you're burying an animal, I didn't know this, um, you're supposed to dig a hole that's two feet down. I did not know that. I, I was all prepared to do the, the six foot deep path to normal graves. But <clears throat> <sighs> anyhow, I just I th I thought today would be a good day to just kind of clean up mention Charlie and talk to you guys about death and about losing a loved one because I, I talk about emotional things and and how to react or how things like I've, I've never tried to sugarcoat stuff like that and I want to be honest like I cried today I, I lost a very good friend I lost a companion you know our family lost one of its members today. So. And it's not like we weren't prepared. Because I mentioned it to the kids. I said that he's getting very old. And it will happen someday. So. No matter the amount of planning. No matter the amount of anticipation. It's still hard. It's hard for the whole family. It's hard for people that you know who, okay, so whenever we were on vacation, my uncle came over and, and he feeds the dog and feeds the birds, looks after the house and stuff like that. And he was very close to Charlie. So when he passed, Wallace, he, he was very, very emotional about it because he loved Charlie just as much. So anyhow. I've been I've been talking for 18 minutes now, and this is not the normal type of video that you you want to keep going on. Um, anyhow, maybe we'll do a t tutorial tomorrow or something like that. Um, natural time. <laughs> Smile. Anyhow, we've got uh, Halloween coming up Saturday. Get ready. Get all your your stuff ready for for the things. Um, we, we need to go get the end times axis. Alright. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But remember, it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I love you guys very much. Um, was I going to show you... Yeah, why not? No, no. We'll do it another day some other time. Thank you everyone for all your comments in today's video um, or yesterday's video. I do go through and read all of them. All right. So if you feel like I'm ignoring you for some reason, I'm not. I get a lot of requests all the time. And if you ask me something like code, can I play with you? My answer is going to be the same all the, all the time. No, um, I'm not going to make special arrangements to come and play with you guys because the public servers are too hot right now. I'm, I'm not going inside any public servers. Uh, the reason these guys got to play is because I'm inside my own personal private server. Uh, these guys are my admins who work in uh, 
inside the Discord. So I trust them highly. Otherwise, they wouldn't be admins. So um, for right now, the answer is going to be no. If you ask me other questions and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to answer. But, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.